What's going on everybody? I'm Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here and in this episode we're gonna go over conditionals. Now my most requested tutorial right now is variables so I'm gonna give you guys what you want. Over the next couple of episodes we're gonna break down variables and in this episode we're gonna start with the conditionals. So we're gonna create a simple question for the user to answer store it in a variable with a condition if they got it right then the character will the NPC will respond to the user if it was right or wrong it sounds complicated but let's get into it in this episode so the first thing you're gonna want to do is create a new scene for this thing we're gonna call this math inside this math we're just going to change the background you know get something that you want to use I like to go through the special here for these tutorials. Just find something I like. Um, I'm going to go with this blue flame. I like that. We're going to join a scene. Join a scene. We're going to join scene so we can get our character in. And we're going to do cloud because this is me. And I've grown to like this character. And we're going to just show a message. So show a message. In here we're just going to ask what is 2 plus Two equal to what is two equal to? What is two plus two? Simple question from my man Cloud, just giving it up. He's like, dude, what's two plus two? We all like math and we all know math. I'm sure we all can answer this question at this point, but this is just for the tutorial purposes, so you can use this knowledge to your advantage. So now we're gonna make a condition. So type in condition, and then it's gonna be if number. So now we're gonna make a variable. This is where it gets tricky. And I've already, you know, we got the math. So you're going to do int variable, create the variable, it's math. So if the variable math is equal to, and if you don't have the variable, then you can um, make it. Just type in whatever you want to call the variable. Is equal to blah. And then inside this variable, I mean inside this condition that we've made a variable, we're going to import number. Input number. And you're going to get this little message box. Make sure you're using the action template. If you haven't been following the tutorial series, we are using the action template where you can use all these calls and and because it's all built into the engine other than the scripting one. If you use the script, scripting template, you're going to have to code this in yourself. So use the action based template. So we're going to change the digits to single because it's not a, a double digit or triple digit or quadruple or penta digit. It's just a single digit. Single digit answer. And then we're going to store the variable inside the math equation. Now, we're going to check the number. So click check number. And so it's after after the user checks gets the number, it's going to check it. So if variable is the math, remember we're going back to the math. If the variable math is equal to 2, then it's going to jump to yes. So we're going to create a label yes later. Just remember that. And then we're going to jump. We're going to um, do show message. Inside show message, we're going to just write wrong. And then after we write wrong, make sure you, you know, use your character or whatever. After you write wrong, we're going to jump to a label. And in, the, in this label, we're going to create no. And then we're going to make the label yes. Drag that down here. We're going to make the label yes because it's jumping to yes. And then we're going to show a message inside this and just say correct. And then we're going to give it cloud and we're going to do expression. We're going to make him happy, which his real name was is under ace. And we're just going to give him a happy. So, and then if he's wrong, we're going to give an expression saying we're going to give him a, a sad expression, just wrong. And now after the show message of being correct, we're just going to make a label. And we're going to give this label, we're going to drag this label to the bottom, and we're going to call this label no. So to go over what we just did, is we added the, we changed the background, we joined, we made the, the NPC character join cloud, we asked a question, if we gave the question a condition, meaning it has to, if for it to be right, we gave, we store, a, we made a variable for the condition to be saved from the user's input and the, the NPC's input, 
and if the number you we let the in the input number we let the user input their number and it stores it in the variable and then it also checks the number the game is now checking it to make sure that it is the correct answer which is two it'll jump to yes so when it jumps to yes which is here it's jumping to correct and then if you didn't put two you put something else it's going to say wrong and then it's going to jump to no meaning it's over so you can just save that and then we're just going to click play so we can oh wait sorry make sure you set it as your intro scene then we're going to save it and then click play so that way you guys can know and understand how it works and we're going to load it up should get this loaded boom what is two plus two just for jokes i'm gonna say five and it's just wrong completely wrong it's wrong it doesn't work it you're 100 percent wrong guy like come on and now we're going to just load it up and i just want to show you that it does work and now we're going to load it back up what's two plus two it's two duh correct and that's it guys and that is the end of this episode i hope i gave you guys a nice little sneak peek of variables but we're gonna go over that heavier in more tutorials in the future i'm cloud knight from nightville entertainment hit that subscribe button to stay up to date in the visual novel tutorial series and everything nightville entertainment god bless and have a great night i'll see y'all in the next episode